let's see, the root of, the square root of 864, and that's 4K. Hmm. Gee, I wonder if I could EQ that organ any better. Well, according to my equations here, oh, why Marie? Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> um, I, I, you uh, startled me. Well, since you decided to come here, I'd like to show you my chicken. <laughs> it's a chicken with a lollipop stuck down its throat, and it's wrapped in plastic to make it even more perverse. Okay, so that's, that's yeah. how I would start it. All right. Well, the kind of music I play now is Jamaican music played by people from New York. And when me and Marcus talk about the kind of music we play, we always we try and equate it to like um, the way the British invasion took American blues and stuff. What? Apparently I can't make fun of Dave and play at the same time. <sighs> and demented it and played it wrong. And all of a sudden it became a new thing. So we hope that like we're screwing it up ever so slightly so that in like 30 years people will go, oh wow, that was like, uh, that was their thing. Yo, I like your sailor attire, it's very Yeah, actually. Very Yo, give it up for Victor and his sailor attire. For the occasion. Just hang out a second, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, shit! See, just for the occasion, I brought myself a little outfit. I know. I didn't know. You be getting in the barrel now, huh? Yo, let's give it up for Glenn Pine, yo. Back in 1991 or so, Me and, me and Sarah broke up and she was the focus of my life for the five years that preceded that or so. And so like um, after that I was like, well, what else am I going to do, you know? Now I, now I got free time to play music because <laughs> she never let me play really. Like not let me play, but she never encouraged me to be like in a band, you know? That's true. That's true. After, after Sarah and me split up, well, then I had a lot of free time, and then I had a lot of things to get out, and a lot of material to write about, you know? Because a lot of things pop in your head when you break up with a girl that you're, like, you know, madly in love with for, like, many years, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, hey, who knew? Who knew? I could never write a love song before that. And then all of a sudden, all these heartbroken songs, all these songs about when I first met her, all this crazy stuff, yeah. So then that was cool, and I was like, oh, I got a material, I got free time, I got friends of mine that I'm, gonna, that I'm already playing with, now, now I got time, now we can do this. And that was the beginning of the band known as The Slackers.
What kind of like background do you have? Is your family musical or, you know? I'm discovering my family is musical. They, they lied to me for years and, and tried to say, Vic, where did you get this, this interest in music from? You know, except for my mother. My mother was always, she was always very interested in music and played guitar and, and made us listen to a lot of great music, right? But my dad, I found out recently, played trombone in the high school band for four years, mind you. Four years he played trombone. Never told us, never told me until Thanksgiving. And I found that he even played at night in a band that played gigs, playing like swing music and stuff, big band music. He played in, the, in, a, horn, in a horn section where they had like eight horns in the band. My dad, 